and the resolution disk is so easily activated in the touch shift and I really made it invisible. Down to, down to the bottom of our area, we can see a face in front of us, it has a very easy command where there are two eyes at the top which become invisible and the two eyes at the bottom then become visible, so it gives the effect of the eyes actually looking down towards us. Right, we'll take a quick look around the corner. Taking a trip down the stairs and into the next room. First thing we have to do is to take the dragon spell from the wall. We then take hold of the coffee handle. Proceed through the coffin. The thing you've just seen is another easy routine. There are basically two coffin doors. There's one here in front of us, and the other one is positioned there. As you activate the handle on the coffin, the one in front of you becomes invisible, the one to the left becomes visible. Attributes. 
you can see the sensor button is on. Click on the sensor. The sensor's attributes are telling us that it's making sound 3, which is the sound of um, laughter. Range is 1500. When you get near, it detects you and starts to shoot at you. The speed, it is going at 140. And as you can see, it says drop 5, it is telling our sensor to carry out procedure 5. We'll now take a look at procedure 5. As mentioned earlier, a procedure is just an easy way of calling up a bit of code which can be used quite often. Here it says that if variable equals 9 for variable 11, then set variable 0 to variable 11, sub var 1 from variable 33, update instrument 2, update instrument 3, and if, if variable equals 0 to variable 33, then go to 117 and then end it. It's complicated but it's quite easy. What it's saying there is that if variable 11 gets to 9 and then reset it back to 0 again, it is then sub var, which is taking away 1 from variable 33 and updating instrument 2 and instrument 3. Let's go into that in a bit more detail. take a quick look at our instruments just to see which instrument does which particular function. As you can see instrument number two is our shield which is variable 11. The next instrument is number three which is our lives and that is variable 33. Variable 33 has a value from 0 to 5, in other words we have 5 lives. Our shield runs from 0 to 8, in other words it's like 8 pieces of a life, but in fact it's a shield which counts down from 8 to 0. When the shield reaches 0, it takes 1 from our life. Here, this is our lives, this is our shield. Every time the fish shoots at us, it makes the shield go down. As soon as it gets to the bottom, it takes one from our life. Let's see if we can move near and actually get it to a There you can see it's just come down. Now the outdoor instrument really needs to be in the initial condition that due to some quirkiness of 3D kit 2 I tend to put an update instrument command virtually everywhere I can get it because a lot of the times it tends not to carry out um, updating our instrument we'll go back to the procedure As you can see, our lives, if variable equals 9, and set it to 0, as soon as our shields has got to 9, it then resets to 0. Every time the sensor shoots at us, we sub variable 33, we take 1 from variable 33 every time. Variable 33 reaches zero. In other words, we've lost all our lives. We then go to 117, which is our end game sequence. Variable 33, our lives there. It only goes to minus one. In other words, it takes one part of our life away. So from five we go to four. Only left variable 11 which is the amount of times we've been shot, uh, goes down to zero.